Hi and a very good day to everyone. Okay, in previous video, I have shown you about how to set up project base point coordinates in your Revit project file or in your Revit project model. Okay, and for this week or for this video or tutorial, I want to show you how to set up your true north or project north in your Revit environment or in your Revit project okay so first of all we will open new file or if you have any working file that you want to use it as a practice then you can also open the file this is just for the tutorial purpose I'll go for the architecture template and click OK now it's open Okay, then we go to the visibility graphics override first or VG in the properties pane and go to site then tick the survey point internal origin and project base point internal origin only available from 2019 or 2020 version I guess all the version that have this internal origin so you can just just ignore it just make sure you open project base point and survey point visibility and you can see here the two point at the coordinate default of 0 0 0 and also angle to true north is 0 degree that means that you know, your right now your project base point is well in the 90 degrees environment and very useful for you or very convenient for us to to do the modeling works because of the 90 degree axis but in real situation or in real data project data you may encounter with some survey data or information that is not 100% 90 degree so for example so in this tutorial we will show you how to place with your true north and project north in Revit okay then we go to insert uh, I will go for import cat and then I will select my sample of the survey map or ordinance survey or in short we call it OS maps uh, if you want to practice or want to request from your surveyor or survey land surveyor team for files or for your practice then you can request from them the OS maps or ordinance survey plan okay we go to current view only color preserve import unit go to meter because in surveying uh, as it consists of large so large area or boundary so they will use the meter unit not like as the building we use the precision in millimeter because it involves small smaller items then origin to origin okay then open now we can see here our OS maps okay first bear in mind that right now our angle to true north is zero okay but now based on our true OS maps here for example we want to build a building in orientation of this uh, number one area okay number one marker here so how we go about to do the modeling so we can we can assure that it's easily for us to work day by day by going to the 90 degree and not not worrying about the orientation or whatever from the surveyor data okay so you go to manage and then 
in the project location panel you see the position position button you can see rotate project nose okay so you can rotate project nose click then we have option 90 degree clockwise or counter clockwise or 180 and for this i just use the align selected line or plane as we have the os maps uh cat so we can just easily pick the line the selected line of the building boundary so click line so let's say and then we can choose the line that we want to make it to the 90 degree axis so either you want to pick this the long line as the 90 degree axis or the short one you can choose okay for example i want to paste the long lines here i want to make sure it is in 90 degrees so we'll just pick the line then it call it goes to rotate project north command has successfully processed 94 elements then click ok and then you can see you can go to the number one marker here building boundary as you can see it's already in 90 degree the line so you can just uh, draw easily and conveniently your wall without worrying about the orientation or the 90 degree axis as we the modelers always find it tough when it comes to a, a typical building orientation or architecture okay now next what if uh, this is your working view right so what if you want to present to the boss to the manager or to the clients or your project teams the true rotation back based on the survey data so you can just go to the properties panel and you can see this orientation info and then right now project notes okay but before this uh, okay just to make sure that just to show you the proof that our building ordination already moved 90 degree from the true north okay you can see it's already mentioned 320 degree angle from the to the true north so it has been rotated in this type in this certain degree so that means your model already rotated from the original true north so if you want to make sure you can just check here and then can we continue with the last point here what if you want to rotate it back to the original position or orientation of the survey data so you don't have to do it manually you go to the properties and go to the orientation and just pick true north then apply uh, so it will automatically rotate all your project components or elements according to the original orientation that you have set so this as you can see the wall here have already automatically rotated just to build them so rotation or, or, or only have uh, features in the 2d view elements of rivets such as the floor plan ceiling plan and also site or area plan so in 3D, you can control the orientation. You can only control the orientation setting. And if you want to continue your work, you can just put project north. You can just continue like this. For example, I want to present back. Or maybe you can see uh, the two finishation 
to nose from the nose. Oh, so we will we will only visible in you can see here it's already rotated so that's all for me in this short tutorial uh, you can subscribe and share my channel for more tutorials and on Revit and also construction matters especially on beam world okay so thank you.